We're going to take a little bit of time now and investigate the distance between uh, the inch marks, zero and one. Uh, you can take a look at every inch designation as either sixteenths, eighths, quarters, halves, or again, full inches. In this course, we're going to be working with inches. So let's start off by looking at the smallest segment in our uh, inch measurements uh, that are included in our steel rulers. The first segment is known as 1 16. It can't be broken down any further, and so we remain as 1 16. The next measurement is 2 16, and we know it formally as 1 8. 3 16 is the next measurement. It cannot be broken down any further, and that remains as 3 16. 4 16 is also known as 2 8 or more formally, 1 quarter of an inch. The next segment, 5 16 cannot be broken down any further, and it remains as 5 16 6 16 can be divided top and bottom by 2. That leaves us with a value of 3 eighths. 7 16 cannot be broken down any further, and that remains as 7 16 8 16 if you divide the top and the bottom by 2, you end up with 4 eighths. And if you, if you continue dividing the top and bottom by 2, you will end up with 1 half. 9 16 can no longer be broken down any further, so that remains as 9 16 10 16 If the top and bottom are divided by 2, you will get 5 eighths, and that is how we normally call 10 16 11 16 can no longer be broken down, and that remains as 11 16 12 16 is otherwise known as 6 over 8. 6 eighths, and if we further break it down, you'll find that this is known as 3 quarters, and that's what we call 12 sixteenths. We break it down right down to its uh, lowest common denominators. 13 sixteenths can no longer be broken down any further, and that remains 13 sixteenths. 14 sixteenths, we divide the top and bottom by 2, we get 7 over 8, 7 eighths. 15 sixteenths, cannot be divided any further, and that remains 15 sixteenths. And of course, 1, 16 over 16, and of course that equals 1. And that is the uh, review of the, the uh, Imperial Measurement System, and uh, we'll be using this system throughout the course.